You guys know that uh, a lot of views on the uh, on this 80 meter regenerator receiver found a circuit online and uh, decided that I would build it. And a couple of videos ago, I done a video on this one, and uh, I never really totally explained a lot of it. Well, actually, I didn't explain anything. I just showed it in action. And uh, so I just figured I'd do another video on it because you guys really enjoyed the last one <laughs> on it. And um, so, I mean, that's the circuit. You get your antenna, antenna coupling. Uh, you have your uh, coil here. So you got uh, 19 turns. Uh, third uh, tap from ground. Is the one that would go to the emitter of your 2N2222. The base goes through a 100 uh, picofarad capacitor um, to the top of your coil. Of course, your tuning would be through a 360 picofarad uh, tuning capacitor. Uh, this 390 um, picofarad uh, capacitor that's here, this one is very important. If this one was omitted, then you, this won't even work up. I tried just remove it just to see what would happen, and without this in here, doesn't uh, the circuit won't oscillate properly? The 1.5 mag ohm resistor here. You got the RFC, uh, the regenerative control here. I got a matching transistor here, 1,000 ohm to 8 ohm. Uh, Pete's matching for uh, headphones. And another 2N222 transistor here. So, uh, let me get my pin out here. So, this inductor here is what I'm using for my RFC. This one here corresponds to this one here. Got our main tuning, which of course is this fella in here. Which is that fella there. And you got a, well, I got a variable inductor put here. Does that a piece of equipment? It's got a piece, it got a very slug inside here. So as you're turning this knob, the slug is either is moving in or out of the coil, which is either adding inductance or removing inductance from the, uh, from the coil. Uh, this capacitor here. Uh, is very is also very important that is the one uh, this one let me see Top. yeah this one here is the 100 pickle ferret that one matching transformer 1000 to 8 ohm transformer is right here I have antenna coupling, which is this variable down here. I have a 2N2222 transistor here, as well as the second one here. Yep, has two transistors. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Two transistor receiver. And, uh, you yeah, know, we should put another dozen transistors just to fill it up. What do you think? <laughs> um, regenerative control is this one here. Main tuning, regenerative. Um, I guess you want to call that band set. I guess you can call that one. That's your headphone jack. Uh, over here is the antenna in. It's just a single wire. Connects to this wire here. Which connects to the board. But uh, that's it. Uh, got I put a speaker in here. Um, it is, you know, strong enough to run the speaker. Though it's not, you know, that strong. It's in a pretty quiet room for the most part to hear a speaker. But, you know, a speaker can work. It's a 8 uh, ohm speaker. I added it in there. As a matter of fact, I've got a couple wires to it. It'll work fine. But uh, the whole thing runs off a 9 volt battery. I just got the audio run to my 2N3904. Audio at the fire. And then, uh, 
let's go into the realistic SA-101. Pretty cool. Made another piece of uh, puff board. So I got the traces. Got the traces. The trays are made of small copper wire, thin copper wire, bell wire. Okay. Just figured I'd uh, upload a video on this little 80 meter version of the receiver. I'm sure you can change this around to whatever band you want. Just a matter of uh, adjusting your inductor here. Either more turns or less turns, depending on the part of the band you want to uh, get in. But that there is the circuit. You look for a simple receiver to build, I would suggest this one. It works very well for what it is. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> piece is live because I got the capacitor ground it to it pretty much put on to this it's the only what I really need to do is insulate the inductor from the cabinet but, anyway. works for what it is <laughs>